Excellent. I think we're uh, good to go. So welcome back to another uh, Island Uphold analysis and tutorial. This will be my fourth tutorial. And these are becoming so much easier and just a lot more fun. Uh, let's get right into it. So what I wanted to do before was, I guess, build a castle because last time we built a pirate ship. Now I'm going to reserve building a castle for the next sequence. I was very excited to learn how to uh, end an auto run sequence uh, last night after uh, tinkering with it for about uh, six, six hours a day for the last three or four days. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't know how to finish an auto run sequence and now I know how to in RPG Maker 2003. So let's get into that because I, I showed you in the very first video how an auto sequence auto run sequence uh, works, but how I transitioned in the game from an auto run sequence to uh, returning to the characters is uh, tricky. So I guess in the last uh, analysis of the video or of the game, so if you recall, I started at the intro point, which was blank, and then they went inside the home to the kitchen, gradually towards the docks. Uh, we didn't cover the entire intro scene because I want to leave the uh, the mysterious for, for the game once it gets um, uh, released. Uh, and now they've awaited at the docks about to go through the storm and what takes place next and I'm going I'm still tweaking at this point is having all the characters uh, exit. So you can see a whole bunch of uh, people waiting the uh, the captain's orders excuse me and um, after that they're all going to exit exit right and uh, yeah you'll you'll see what happens happens next and then I'll just cut it off uh, towards the end so let's let's run the test Oh, and I got a, I got a nice placeholder, finally, I, I took the, um, the title card and um, made it the, uh, the placeholder, which was nice. Anyway, so here's the continue point, so get inside, I have a little uh, screen shake and tint, and we can go over that. Captain has a solemn look on his face. What's going on? I want a refund. I'm safe, but it's me to the captain. Then here's another example of scrolling the screen while it's shaking. Sure, this boat is sturdy and won't. And lifeboats don't all see the file. So they they run towards the exit. Now everybody's clamoring towards the exit. A child can be grabbed her. Then uh, Jess goes to try and save me. Uh, leave, leave the rest of them, Jess. Some of them are past paralyzed with fear. Your life means more to me than anyone else. Son, go find your mother. And turns back. I'm here. It's okay. You have no fear. You can do it. I can't feel my legs, so this is an example. <laughs> okay, so I have it. I have it in loop. I'll, I'll fix that in a minute. Um, 
So there's the, the auto run sequence. Um, I forgot to finish up my code from last night, clearly. So let's let's go into it. Um, so we have, I guess in this instance, a very long string of code. But everything that I detail is going to be quite important. And when I fix it, uh, you'll see that the character is going to be right up and moving again. Um, that'll be a very simple fix. Apologies. So we have all this text, right? And we have where the character is supposed to move. I have the shake screen, uh, which is select. You can select that at the very beginning. And you can see how long that the, sh the shake is supposed to be and when it starts. So I have it very weak. I have it very slow. So once they've said all that stuff, we're scrolling the map. And now once they say that it won't, uh, then I have it shaking a little bit faster. The rain, I've changed the weather effect from a, a little bit of rain to a lot of rain, which indicates like the, the boat is split and it's starting to rain inside the boat. So now they're going to the, the lifeboats. Then this is pandemonium, right? So I have all the characters individually assigned so that they can... Uh, move, 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 get get out of the way and down this this uh, small hall right here. So run child, grab with me or gra run child with me, uh, grab her. And then the, the tick Jess and her mom and the ticket lady sort of move back because, you know, looks like what is Jess doing? He's, uh, you know, he's supposed to be going the other way. And t and the rest of us move back, uh, you know, same movements, movements. Another guy moves at different points in time just to keep it interesting. All right, so this is where it gets important. And here's the uh, the, the sound effect and the, the animation here with all those explosions. Here's where it gets interesting and in how you end the auto run. So on this map, I guess it doesn't matter which map you put this on. I set the transparency to off. Uh, at the very beginning, you want the transparency on so that uh, the character uh, right here can't be seen. Uh, but that's not enough. Um, you'll notice that if you have the uh, transparency off um, and you try and bring the character back, he'll still or she'll he'll he or she will still be invisible. Um, so what matters is what happens on the next page. So I have the, the transfer player left. Um, you can even have this transparency in the next one just to keep it, um, organized. Uh, I didn't know why until, um, I figured out the auto run sequence on the next page. So here's my auto run sequence. And you can make it a parallel process or not, but what is important, what is important is this. This function right here, which is a change party member, and you add back uh, your character, which was missing. Um, you can find change party member under change actor nickname, change, and this is what took me so long to figure out. Um, change party member right here and then you add back island guy so if i were to take this uh line of code away um he'd he'd be in a physical state he'd be there but his transparency would be off and he'd still be you'd still be able to move him but he'd be invisible he hasn't actually returned so you want these two functions here then you uh, set it as an auto run sequence, right? Um, and what I've done here is I, I said that the uh, once this once um, or I, I should have done this. So after he says all these things, I take this function, I cut it because that's that's what I, I, I messed up. It, it, it'll loop as a parallel process. This should just be fix map off um, you'll 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 see the difference in a minute so I'm gonna copy this 
and just paste that here because we don't want the monster's face or the the devil i'm he's going to be the official devil mascot of this game so he's back the transparency's off so you'll notice that here i don't have a a a, a character print image because we're not actually getting um, a character print image we're getting the member himself and that's why he appeared there with the transparency off if i just added the transparency off then a uh, little old me would not appear there um this teleportation on and off enable function uh won't make a difference i don't believe so i'm just going to delete it i wait for two seconds i have the text come boy bahaha then I tell people what to do. And once the auto run functions off, this is also important as a switch, because I talked to you briefly about switches and how to add them and use them. Then you want to say the scroll or once it's on the scroll map is fixed off uh, unfixed. And why this is important is because you want the map to move with the character. Uh, in auto run sequences, you have uh, the the car the the uh, the map moving uh, very specifically, uh, and you could you could see that in oh one sec this 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 will work this 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 definitely will work um, and if it doesn't I'll be I'll be shocked um, I have scroll map where I have it just scroll here and it's away from the player then I have it sort of scroll back. I'm in control of that, but once you once you get into the game itself, uh, you want that that scroll map function off. And again, I'm just analyzing my game. Um, we're gonna just go right into it. It asks me, "Am I sure I want to save?" Absolutely. Uh, now that I fix that little bit, I'm gonna go back here and I'm just gonna run through the. Oops. Um, I'm going to just run through everything really quickly. Just <laughs> hyper press. There's all, also uh, what I noticed, which was quite interesting, is if I, if I race through the auto run sequence, if I race through it like this, it definitely uh, has a different output on... Um, how how fast or where the, the characters end up if I, if I just race through the text versus I don't uh, which can lead to other problems but at the same time I guess what's good news is that yeah they all move to the, the other side uh, regardless so yeah they're on they're on that side um, and I guess that's that's I guess good good enough for the point being that they're, they're racing towards the end of the hall so Throat, my soul. Yes. Okay. Teleported. There I am. Dot 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 dot. Come boy. Ba ha ha ha. Zero keys to move. Spacebar talk to others. And don't touch the lava. And we're off. And there you go. See? Voila. I'm, I'm walking. I'm gonna... And if I run into lava, as I said, player touch, and it's a game over. So... I guess that's, it's been a short tutorial, but I, I guess that's the, the end of this um, tutorial. Uh, getting an auto run sequence to finish without having to go through a whole bunch of things with, um, a lot of people have asked, how do you finish an auto run sequence in RPG Maker 2003? And I feel like the, uh, the I don't know, the Yeti guy that discovered fire, you know, this is this is how you do it. So and it, it makes sense from a, uh, a computer science standpoint, even I, I mean, I'm not the, the greatest in code. But if, if you think about these things logically um, to have a party member there to have this transparency off, I'll just go through it one more time. Go through the text in an auto run sequence and once that's done you want to switch to a parallel process say that this is this is off or that the, the the map is finished i don't think it would t really matter if it's parallel process versus action button or auto run or any of these i'm sure you can you can test them out but 
I'm just going to leave it like that because there's there's no no line of code left to do. The the game can see that Island Guy is here. I actually tried initially having actor exists um and that might or that doesn't work. That doesn't work. So I I had it needs to be part of the auto run function rather than this. This is more like uh, an if statement and you have an event that says once active this exists then something goes in the code but we're talking an auto run where you have to physically have the party member there so that's important these two are very important for ending an auto run sequence uh, this is Colin talking about his game Island Uphold RPG Maker 2003 signing off uh, in the next uh, tutorial and getting so much better at these and it's very exciting i'm going to be talking about how to uh, build a castle so stay tuned for that and i'll see you folks later all right